all right guys welcome back to another video uh today we're going to be case swapping this uh em2 uh, it's got this little 98 horsepower single cam in there right now we're going to give this dude like another 100 and like 20 130 horsepower and uh we're gonna walk you through everything except for what do we say we weren't gonna really go into detail about the wiring because we had to pay for it to somebody else's work yeah we're gonna so they make conversion harnesses k2 makes conversion harnesses for these um but i paid for a write-up there's a i think they're out of the country basically they did a case swap write-up on depending wiring in like the wide band the the pr primary wide band o2 sensor factory basically all factory wiring you don't need a conversion harness so that's what we're going to do with this car because i paid for the write-up it was cheaper to pay for the write-up than buy the conversion harness and everything else so we are not going in detail as far as what the pin you know stuff like that because that's what those you know those guys that's their service so we're not going to try to you know shit yeah, we're not, yeah we're not going to shit them work. out of their work yeah because they they did a lot of they did a lot of research yeah so basically this car is going to run on a computer with the immobilizer and everything like factory with yeah. ac and power steering and they had a whole write-up on details on what part numbers you need everything like that so we're not going to get into detail with that because that's robbing people from you know their hard work but we will kind of show the process but not detailed on wiring but yeah. We're putting an engine, <laughs> we're putting a case swap in an EM2, and you guys will see that process and the dyno and everything. Yeah. So, yeah, these chassis are super similar to uh, RSXs and uh, EP3s, which is like a 02 to 05 Civic Si. And from like the firewall back, everything from an RSX to a EP3 will work. Uh, when it comes to case swapping it, the only thing you have to do is change the engine mounts because the engine obviously sits and on the subframe. opposite side. Yeah, and the subframe. But we are putting suspension on this car because whatever he has on here is blown out. Yeah, we're we'll putting a set of True Heart Street Pluses on it. Yeah, True Heart Street Pluses. And like you said, we're doing a stock computer deal where computer will just take over everything. Stock header. Um, are we putting the exhaust on here? Yeah, we're going to do an exhaust. Yeah, we're going to do an exhaust. Obviously, like a little short ram intake. and Be like a two and a half. Yeah, a little two and a half joint and uh, AC power steering, like you said before. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. All right, guys so i got everything from underneath the car out um i got the alternator power steering pump off leaving the ac compressor on it and uh i got most of these mounts and stuff off the front and the rear mount uh, i have this mount right here loose i just need to loosen the transmission mount take the wire harness out of the car uh, off the east the stock east the factory ecu and uh i'm gonna hook the cherry picker up to it and pull it on out and then uh I'm gonna put the wheels back on it and pressure wash it but it'll probably be another video for that and then uh we need to take the subframe out of make sure you guys can see this there is an rsx back there yeah like right there uh we're gonna take the we're gonna push it up take the uh subframe out of that and swap it out with this one so we can keep that one rolling then we're going to take that to the scrap yard and put the rsx subframe in here and we may change the suspension at the same time just to make our lives a little bit easier and then we'll drop in the k20 uh it'll 
probably won't be in this video because like I said, I'm running out of time and I'm pretty much working on two cars at the same time and just trying to get a bunch of stuff done. So uh, I'm gonna go in here right now. I'm just do it on camera. And we'll pop the door open. And the ECU is behind the glove box in here. ECU is right here. And uh, this is the C101 plug that we're going to have to depin and uh, repin for the K swap. This is the chassis side. This is the engine harness side right here and then there's three bolts that hold the ECU in you pull the ECU out and then uh, you feed the factory wire harness to a hole that's in the firewall and the ECU is out so Gotta feed. Alright, so just gotta feed the engine harness back through the hole that's a firewall. And you basically just got a tug on it. And it'll unclip itself. A lot of a lot of walking back and forth. Whole lot of it. Could have just cut this shit, but and bang, she's out. So, oh, I gotta take one heater hose off. Left. I have one heater hose left to take off, and then um, he'll be coming out. <laughs> 